So there are two obvious transitions in my life. One, when I broke my back, which ironically enough is where I felt most powerful in my life because my life was black and white. The second transition was when I retired from competitive sport. So I was a Paralympic athlete for 15 years. I was successful. I won a lot of medals. I was a world champion. I was, I was good at what I did. And, and, and when I retired, I lost that identity. And I was completely, completely directionless. I didn't know where I wanted to go. It seemed like I could do whatever I wanted to do, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. So one day I was out at an off-road hand cycle and I was out just there are hills behind my house and I was out climbing these hills and you know, probably, I don't know, it took me you know, half an hour up and then I'm coming down and I'm just sort of thinking and, and my subconscious sort of bubbled to the surface at this point and I had this thought of I should climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Had no idea whether it was possible, had no idea whether anybody had tried to do it in a hand cycle. But I thought this is what I want to do because when I had left competitive sport, what I missed the most was that my performance could speak for a whole lot of people who didn't necessarily have a voice. It could speak for me as somebody in a wheelchair, but it could speak for a whole lot of other people who are, who are in a similar situation who don't necessarily have the same opportunities or the same visibility that I have. And so I thought, I want to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. And that started the ball rolling, started bringing a team together, people, people who, could, who could film it so that we could tell the story. People could help me develop the vehicle, who could figure out how to train, who could, who could help me shape what we wanted to do and make it a much bigger voice. Ultimately, that came out of that one moment that started the ball rolling that said, this is what I want to do.